Overeating is a struggle that many people deal with. Whether you're hoping to eat fewer sweets, have difficulty with binge eating, or are just generally looking for ways to have more balance in your overall diet, these are six helpful and effective ways that can help you to stop overeating. 1. Use a smaller plate. A study by Cornell University claimed that having plate size leads to a 30% reduction in the amount of food consumed on average, which can add up in terms of the amount of calories saved with each meal by just downsizing your dish. The Food and Brand Lab of Cornell University suggests eating healthy foods on larger plates to encourage consumption, while eating less healthy foods on smaller plates to trick ourselves into feeling satisfied with less volume. 2. Drink a full glass of water before eating your meal. The average adult is made up of at least 60% water, so you can imagine why 8 glasses a day is encouraged, but why a full glass right before a meal? Drinking a full glass of water before a meal helps to provide a sense of fullness, which lessens your likelihood of overeating as less food will be required to feel satisfied. With water as your drink of choice, you also decrease the amount of calories consumed from sodas, or alcohol and other empty calorie beverages. 3. Try Volumetrics. According to Healthline, Volumetrics is a way of eating that focuses on filling up with low-calorie, high-fiber foods like non-starchy vegetables. Weight maintenance and doesn't lead to overeating is because it isn't super restrictive. One reason this type of dieting actually works for this way of eating makes you feel more full by eating less, which ultimately makes you less likely to overindulge. 4. Don't eat out of the bag, box, or container. Portion control is an essential part of avoiding overeating. When you consider the serving size of a food, and divvy out an appropriate amount, then put the container away, you're less likely to overeat. It's easy to get caught up in eating whatever's there, rather than what you actually want or actually should consume. 5. Don't skip breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so they say, but why is it so important? It's actually a notion backed by science. Higher chance of being overweight, higher chance of consuming unhealthy snacks, and lesser chance of meeting consumption recommendations for fruits and vegetables. Eating a protein-packed, balanced breakfast every morning will help to curb hunger and lessen your chances of snacking on whatever you can find to tie you over until lunch. 6. Slowly cut out not-so-good habits by swapping them with a healthy habit. The first step is pinpointing your bad habits. If you snack while sitting at your desk all day, the pint of ice cream from the freezer each night before bed, recognizing your not-so-good habits as your starting point. Find a healthy habit to swap for your bad habit. For example, grab a bottle of water and single serving bar of ice cream instead of eating from the pint. Go for a walk every 45 minutes instead of sitting at your desk all day, and keep your snacks anywhere but the desk drawer within reach. It's important to fuel your body and if you're hungry, you should eat, but knowing the differences between eating out of boredom or habit and eating for fuel can make a huge difference. If you find this video helpful, Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.